Hey everybody, it's Lillian. I hope that you are doing well. Listen, I know that it's been forever. I missed you, child. And I know that you guys missed me too, right? Yeah, I know you did. Anyway, um, I just wanted to share with you guys what I picked up from Rite Aid. Rite Aid is closing. I believe it's closing all over the country. And um, the one that's kind of close to my house is uh, closing. All they have left pretty much are the fixtures that they're trying to sell. Um, anyway, so I was able to get a lot of products um, and I am I wanted to uh, go through the products and work on a look for you. So if you're interested to see what I picked up and also how I achieved this look, please stick around. I wanted to show you guys what I picked up from Rite Aid. Um, it's really not far from my house, but they are closing. So right now, all that they have left are really fixtures. Um, they're actually selling the fixtures as well. Um, I didn't really need any of them right now. And so, um, you know, maybe later on I may need some. So I'll go in there again and see what they have. But what I wanted to do was just show you guys what I have. And then I'm going to actually try to do a look um, for you all. I had to pick a lot of different things because um, some things like as far as foundation and things like that, of course, they barely had my color. So there are some items that I've never used. So we're just going to see what's in the bags and then I am going to create a look for you. All right. So the first thing that I want to pull out is I did get a chance to get some of these. These are actually face masks, facial masks. Um, this quenches dry skin. I don't have dry skin. I just wanted to use it. This says that it was $3.19. Um, so they were actually like 70% off. Everything in the bag was 70% off. So I didn't spend a lot. But I got um, two of these. The other one was Blemish Be Gone. So I've got a little friend that's trying to visit me. So I'm going to try to get rid of that um, using these. Also, I picked... Um, some wipes up. These are detox. Excuse me. These are uh, detoxifying um, charcoal facial wipes. I didn't know they had charcoal facial wipes. This is by Yes to Tomatoes, um, and so it is just it. It's a wipe that removes makeup and all of that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna use these as well. So I've never. Let me see. Never seen a charcoal yeah they are black they are um, black white so I look forward to trying to use those um, I see that it is a smaller uh, package there are 10 that come in here so this would probably be good for travel um, another thing that I picked up this is by day logic um, which is the same company as the mask so I think that that um, Rite Aid has their own cosmetic brand. I think that's what's going on. So with Daylogic, I bought some uh, dry shampoo. I usually use dry shampoo, and I, I like to get the travel size one because I don't need a big one. Uh, but I usually use dry shampoo if I see like a, a lace wig that is synthetic that I like that may be really, really, really shiny or something like that. I'll use the dry shampoo, and it'll dull it down a little bit um, for me. So that's why I got just a small one because you don't need but a few squirts on there. And it's Another called Renew Renewal. Um, and what it is, is it is a eye day and night cream. So I am going to um, use this. This actually said $12.99, but like I said, I did get it for 70% off. So that's a really uh, good deal. Um, with this, this is just to moisturize under your eye, um, you know, and to use. There we go. So as you can see, it's very, very similar to the uh, L'Oreal. Uh, Revita Lift Anti Wrinkle and Firming Eye Cream. Okay, the same ingredients pretty much. Uh, this is just their their brand. This is the Rite Aid brand. Okay. Another another item I got was by Maybelline. This is the Deep Brown 260. This is Brow Drama by Eye Studio. So you can just kind of put that over your brow and it should help them stay and all of that so I'm going to use this this is a sculpting brow mascara and so hopefully it has like a gel consistency I've never used these before so I'm going to try this today in our look 
this is the foundation I think that I'm going to try to use today. This is the Dream. This is Maybelline as well. Dream Urban Cover. I didn't know that they had an urban cover. Um, it is a little dark. It looks a little dark to me, but it's actually in the color Truffle. 632 is the number. It's in the color Truffle, so I'm going to try uh, to see how this one is going to work out for us as well. Revlon. Revlon has these little, they had several of these, and I didn't really see any that I really wanted to try except for this one. Revlon, I, uh, no, excuse me. Revlon Photo Ready I, uh, Art. And what it is, it says lid plus line plus lash. So you have this glitter on one end, this glittery stuff on one end, and I guess you have to shake that up. And then you have this, excuse me, this should be the eyeshadow on this end. So we're going to see... Um, what we can do with a look like that, uh, with that product. I also picked up some highlighters. These are by Wet n Wild. Um, they were probably like two, no. On here it says $5.29 by Wet n Wild. These, are, these were $5.29, of course, plus the 70% off, so that was nice. Um, but this, these colors, this is actually the limited edition highlighting gold bar. And so the, one color, this is Holly Gold. Um, head. That one is the Holly Gold. Alright. And then this one is Let It Glow. I got some of these. Um, I teach and so I like to wear flats. But I got these because of course you won't be able to see the sock. But they actually have these pads on the back. They have a pad that is actually in the sock itself. And it was two pair of these. And so I said, well, let me try them. Um, they feel good when I touch them. So hopefully, um, I'm the kind of teacher that likes to stand uh, all day pretty much. So I'm going to see how these uh, work out for me. All right. Everybody has been talking about the bedhead, um, the bedhead hairspray. So I decided to try it um, whenever I... Uh, decide to use my uh, lace wigs again, things like that. Um, they said to use this instead of that got to be um, glue uh, free spray or even the got to be gel. Um, they said try this. So I'm going to try it. It wasn't that much, um, but I was happy to see uh, that it was on sale because these were kind of expensive um, if you go to somewhere like Sally's or whatever. So I was happy to see these. So I'm going to try this as well and let you know how it works out. I did pick up another mask. Um, this one is by Daylogic as well. This one was $3.19 as well. And this one is free and clear. So um, in all, I did get three by the Daylogic. I got three different masks from the Daylogic. And then I got a... Um, this one is actually that same brand that I told you, Yes to Tomatoes, Clear Skin. Uh, this is another, this is another mask um, that's a peel-off. I like the peel-off mask as well. Got by Maybelline. I spend a lot on Maybelline, I guess. Um, but with the Maybelline, this is the Super Stay Full Coverage. This is a concealer. And the darkest shade that they had was 52 in Warm Olives. So I'm going to try that. As you can see here on the back, that's what the um, packaging looks like. I have the um, Revlon Volume and Length Magnified uh, Mascara. Of course, it's in black. And I haven't tried this. Don't know. It says it's new. Um, I have not tried it, but I like to have mascara. Um, usually, whenever I have my makeup on, whenever I do my makeup, I like to um, use some mascara to blend in with my false lashes. And so I'm going to use this and we'll see how it works out. Um, also, I stayed with that Daylogic brand, which is a brand that um, Rite Aid was making. Um, I got some cleansing water. Um, this one was the, is the purple cap. It has probiotics in it. And of course, what you use it for is it just cleanses and removes your makeup. With And then it says without needing to rinse. What I do is I like to use um, a, a makeup wipe. Then I go in with this and then I wash my face. So it says you don't need to, to uh, rinse. It says you don't need to really wash your face. But I, I really do um, suggest that if you're going to use this, yes, get your makeup off, but of course, uh, wash your face, okay? Some face powder. This face powder is by Maybelline as well. It is the Super Stay Full Coverage, uh, um, what is it? 
full coverage. This is a powder foundation and it says up to 16 hours. Up to 16 hours. I'd be surprised if I can get one good hour without seeing any um without seeing any shining through. The color that I got is 355 coconut and I, I also have um I'm I'm familiar with the Superstay. I am familiar with the Superstay because I have used it before, but I would mix it. I would use the 355 and the 360, and I would mix those two colors together. But in the Maybelline um, Fit Me foundation, I would always use the 355. So that's the reason why I got this one. Plus, it was pretty much the darkest shade that they had. So I just decided, go ahead and use this um, or pick it up and see if it works for you. If it doesn't, I'm not losing much money because I was able to get everything, again, for 70% 70, uh, 70 off. The eye cream, it has a very similar, just regular white consistency. It looks pretty much exactly to uh, exactly alike with the L'Oreal Revitalift um, eye cream. For a second. And kind of soak in and moisturize underneath my eyes and while I'm doing that I'm actually going to go in with that Maybelline uh, brow drama it's the sculpting the sculpting brow mascara sculpting brow mascara say that three times fast yeah. clear um, you know when you put your wand back in a clear in a clear brow gel or whatever and then it starts getting brown yeah I don't like that so I'm glad that it's dark um, so so I think it, it gave me a good a good finish. I'm going to clean up my brows, and I'll be right back. I cleaned up my brows um, using on the top, the top of my brow. I, I like to usually use something that matches my skin tone, and I thought that this Superstay um, super concealer, I got it in the, in the color um, Olive. 52. I thought that it would be close to my skin tone, but it is actually quite light. So um, it's okay because I still haven't put on any foundation. So I'm glad that I waited. Um, but what I see here is that it is quite a bit lighter. So it may work um, by itself as a highlighting um, concealer. So we, we're going to uh, hold on to that. This foundation um, professes to do a lot of things. It professes to um, uh, be full coverage. Um, I think it's buildable. Um, it also has a broad, it says broad, broad spectrum SPF 50. That's quite a bit. And then antioxidant enriched pollution uh, protection. So that's really, really cool that it gives you all of those things. Now I see why it's saying the urban, um, urban cover. Um, it has an okay, uh, kind of, I would say there is a little bit of sheen to it, so it's not mattifying. Um, I like I like the coverage. Um, it's nice. It's a perfective, it's a, excuse me, it's a protective um, makeup. It has sunscreen in it, so um, it professes to do quite a few things, so we'll, we'll just see uh, how it does. All right. Next, I'm going to um, actually, I'm going to go in with that concealer. This is in 52. I thought this was going to match my skin because I do have some dark, dark areas, but I'm going to leave them alone um, and just use this 52 to go under my eye. It's not very thick. The doe foot applicator is pretty, it's a regular size. On the screen, I do see, I do see it. I can see it, but looking in my mirror, my mirror, it looks kind of thin. Ooh, honey. Like, I can see it here, but I can't see it here, if that makes sense. Very, 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 very lightweight. Um... It's lightweight because it's like almost non-existent. Uh, all right, so I also have this Color Stay uh, powder. Now, what I'm going to do, this powder is in 355. As I've told you before, I've actually used the 355. I've used the 355 foundation in the Fit Me. I've used that for all over my face. 
But just looking at this, this does not look like something that I can use um, to go all over my face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this and I am actually going to use it to set the uh, concealer and then I'll use something else to go all over my face. Beauty blender. Just use my beauty blender to go to see if that'll do anything for us. That does kind of help it a little bit to not be so yellow. I don't know if you can see that. I can. Um, it's the Sephora Micro Smooth. It's just like that mineralized skin finish. Um, if you've watched any of my videos, you've seen me use it a million times. Um, so I'm just going to go in with uh, some of that. Okay, um, so what we're going to do is I am actually going to try to use this Revlon um, Photo Ready, the Eye Art. I'm not really sure how to use it, but let's see. This, um, that glitter, the glitter side, it comes out like an eyeliner, but it, it doesn't work like that. Like, it's not going to give you... The, the color payoff, it's not going to give you, it's really glitter. It's not going to give you uh, what you need. The other side, I could probably work with that. It's just a doe foot applicator. Let's see. Yeah. It's really, um, see how pronounced that is versus the uh, glitter. I don't even know if you can really see the glitter, so I won't, I won't use that side, but I'll definitely use this. Um, I was thinking about some other colors that I'd like to use um, along with uh, something light like this. And so what I thought about was going on and using, I want to use that Revlon, um, I said Revlon, it's not Revlon, this is Revolution, Makeup Revolution, um, the Patricia Bright uh, palette. Um, she has a lot of colors here, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into some of these colors and then use um, use this one to see what we can we can make work here. Okay, so what I wanted to do was I wanted to allow for this color to pop. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to see what kind of payoff I can get without primer, without any primer or without any help, no concealer um, and things like that. So let's see. The color is very pronounced. I can see why they're saying art because there's so much you can do with it. Now it doesn't want to move at all. Let's see. I'll just go around it and try to blend just a little. Yeah. So I'm going to be so, so harsh. Okay. All right. So when I can still feel it, it still feels wet, but when I try to work with it, it doesn't seem like it's wet at all. So that's, that's kind of tricky uh, with it. Um, and as I keep blinking, nothing is sticking anywhere. Um, nope, it feels fine. It feels fine. Brush looks like, um, it's really, really nice. Um, I like the way the mascara rolls on. I like the way it goes on. I did put it top and bottom. Um, but I think that, yes, I bought black and all black is not created equal. So this one is not dark enough. It's not, it's not black enough for me. And so what's happening is I can still be clocked. I can still see my, um, my, my lash just a little bit um also if you look up under my eye i do see some things already coming through um so so this uh this kind of this kind of powder is probably not the best uh to go underneath your eyes um, these highlighters are gorgeous here's the first one and here's the second one let me see there we go look at that They're so pretty. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, I'm going to use this, um, did I take the color off? No. Oh, okay. I'm going to use the Let It Glow 
I'm going to use the Let It Glow as our highlighter. Um, and as you can see, it has a little bitty star right there to give you just a pink, a little pink um, hue right there. And then, yeah, there's another one here. When I'm looking at it, it looks a little pink. So I'm going to try to use um, this one, and we're going to see how that goes. Little goes a long way. Let's talk. Okay, so this concealer is, mm, I think it's okay for every day or I think it's okay for um, if you want to, if you have some errands to run, um, things like that. Night on the town, nice evening, um, special occasions, do not grab this, okay? Um, as you can see, and I can zoom in just a little bit for you guys. That's close, um, but as you can see, please excuse my excuse my little friend here. But as you can see, um, there's a lot of there's a lot of separation. There is some shining through here. Um, it's a lot of texture. I would I, I really like for my foundations and for my uh, concealers to do just a little bit better. Speaking of the foundation, since I just said foundation, I'm going to zoom out for a moment. It, it's okay for every day. Um, now that I've had it on for several hours, I can tell that it's already oxidized. It's already um, done what it's pretty much going to do. And so, did it cover? It, it covered pretty well. Um, as far as blemishes and things like that, not so much. But it did pretty good. Um, I could see myself, uh, whenever I have to go to work, um, things like that, I would definitely use this again. I actually thought, uh, closer to the beginning of the video, I was thinking that this color, this truffle color, was not going to work for me, um, just simply because of the packaging. The packaging looked dark. Um, compared to my skin tone, the packaging looked dark and all of that. And I usually don't use 362 with this company. I usually use the 355. Um, so that's really weird um, that this one did uh, pretty much work out for me. Um, as you can see, my neck, my chest is, is a little bit, is quite a bit lighter. Um, but, you know, I, I guess I can work with it. It's okay. It's okay. Um, as for these these um, little highlighting bars, the bronze bars. I think these are really, really cute, um, but they didn't have that many colors and it looks, they look very similar to my, this is the uh, Revolution Pro uh, Makeup Revolution. And as you can see, these are the colors for Makeup Revolution. And then let me see if I can do it together. All right, so. As you can see, they're almost like the exact same. Um, I think with the Makeup Revolution, you, you really do get more color. So, like I said, this is great for every day. Sometimes when it comes to um, drugstore, drugstore makeup, a lot of times the drugstore makeup is going to be great for every day. Um, except for that eye stuff I used. I've got a mess here. Um, except for this. This color, I mean, when I tell you this is not moving, it's not. This would be great for if you're going out on an evening or something like that. You don't need to use it as a base. If you don't want to, you can use just this. So I'm sure they had a lot of colors. So I'm actually going to go back and see if they have any left, which I highly doubt. But I'm going to check that. Um, and here, I wasn't really sure what to do with this because it was not, it didn't give me an even, uh, it, it wasn't an even, um, string of glitter. It was just kind of sparse, kind of all over the place. And so I don't really see how I can use that um, or the best way to utilize that. So if you guys have any ideas, then I'll definitely uh, try it um, on a video and we'll, we'll see how it works together. Okay. But this side, 
great. I mean, they had turquoise colors and blues and just beautiful, beautiful shades. And so I just wanted to try one, just wanted to pick up one to see if it worked. And it really, really does. The color goes a long way. Um, you don't need to keep going back and forth into the tube. I like that kind of stuff. So this one really kind of surprised me. Revlon did a great job with this. Um, as far as all of the products that I got, I do think that um, even with the the eye cream, the eye cream you can still, it's not um, too greasy or anything like that. Um, it's doing very well. Um, so that's good. I would give this this little haul, I would give this haul a thumbs up if you're looking for something to uh, to just run errands with, if you're looking for something to go to work in. I think that um, everything that I purchased, everything that I picked up was worth the money. Um, so that's pretty much all I have for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Even though we may be cooped up, we could still be cute and cooped up. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that um, it's, even though it's been a long time, please, please, please like and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you guys in a later video. Bye.